Hello everybody, my name is Aaron, aka Point Teeth, and welcome back to the WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 Season Mode. We've just come off Armageddon, where I managed to beat The Undertaker in a Buried Alive match relatively quickly. Which was somewhat surprising, to be honest. I just beat him up with some weapons that gave me a load of finisher, and then boom, done. So that's actually surprisingly straightforward. But I don't know what we're leading into now. Hey chap! My I just want to apparently. congratulate you on defending the World Heavyweight title at Armageddon. Thanks, Ray. <laughs> now, Thanks. you know what I'm about to ask for. So here goes. What the hell, Teddy? Leave us alone. Let the man have his match. Champ, that was a hell of a match you had at Armageddon. No, it wasn't. I've never seen anything like it. Hey, Teddy, if you thought that match was good, how about another champion versus champion match tonight? Except for the title this time. That's a great idea, Ray. Tonight, the two of you will face off in a ladder match for the Cruiserweight title. What? Uh, Teddy, I don't think I'm allowed to compete for the Cruiserweight title. Yeah, I was about to say. You're right, champ. If you win tonight, Mysterio still keeps the title, okay? Holla, holla, holla. Teddy. Like Mysterio thinks what? that's anywhere near as good. Yeah, well, Teddy Long doesn't make all the rules, Cole. He just got to enforce them. Teddy, that was, like, pointless. The hell, man. <laughs> Teddy Long just being a dick to Rey Mysterio for the sake of being a dick to Rey Mysterio. <laughs> Teddy clearly just don't like him. So weird. You have a lot of match for the Cruiserweight title. I can't compete for the Cruiserweight title. Okay, then. Then if you win, Ray keeps the Cruiserweight title anyway. So, pointless ladder match. Oh, yeah, I've redone my locker room. You like it? Hey, player. Now, I hated to have to shoot down Ray Ray like that. And I hope you understand why I did. We just can't have a Cruiserweight challenging for the World Heavyweight title. It completely defeats the purpose of weight classes, and besides, we've got plenty of other legitimate contenders. And speaking of that, I'm scheduling you for a couple of matches against uh. Tiger and Chris Benoit over the next few weeks to see if we should go for a rematch or give someone else a title match at Raw Rumble. I'll keep you posted, player. I want to go to Raw <laughs> just to fight some different people. People. Uh, uh, drag my feet. God damn it. I do not want to face Taker and uh, anymore. Smackdown's entire main event scene is like three people. Just let Ray have a shot. God damn. Alright, well, Ray, me and you in a ladder match. Apparently, nothing on the line. Just beat the hell out of each other with a ladder. Hi, Leah. That looks like an uncomfortable pose, I've got to say. You work it, but it looks uncomfortable. I don't know why Teddy Long is so obsessed with booking, like, the same three people in main Mysterio events. would have taken the hit before now. Teddy Long doesn't want a cruiserweight competing for the World Heavyweight title. I don't think it's that simple, Taz. I think Teddy Long completely respects and values Rey Mysterio as much as anyone else on the SmackDown roster. The problem is his hands seem to be tied due to the rules and regulations of the board of directors, whether he likes it or not. In the rules and regulations, it, the cruiserweight title is a weight limit, not a light. That's the whole point. It's meant to be, like, weight limit. So the cruiserweight title has a weight limit and you can't be over it. There isn't a lower part of that. Is there? So it's unless you had the super heavyweight title where you had to be a super heavyweight. How do you think the champion feels about Mysterio not getting an opportunity to compete for the world heavyweight title in this matchup, Taz? Well, it seems like him and Mysterio are kind of tight, so I bet he's sort of relieved. In this business, nothing comes between friends quicker than a title. Plus, let's face it, his championship is not on the line. 
But remember, that was Teddy Long's decision, not his. Eh, I'd face Ray for the title. I'd be alright with it. I'd whoop him with a ladder, it's fine. <laughs> hey, Mickey. You so fine, you so fine, you blow my mind. Hey, Mickey. Hey, 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 Mickey. Yeah, sorry. It had to be done. You all knew it had to be done. I should probably pay attention to this. And whole train is next to the drag the ladder. At no point does it tell me how to climb said ladder. Okay. Good evening and welcome to Los Angeles. The belt's on the floor. <laughs> ready for some SmackDown action. I'm Michael Cole here with Taz at ringside. Yeah, baby, LA, it's always full of stars. Okay, we were the other way around a minute ago. They're going to get to see some WWE superstars. Leg drop. And not just any superstars, but the SmackDown superstars. The Pop him in the gin. Pop him in the gin. Tinsel Town will never be the same. Samoan drop. There we go. Power oh, over Ray. Like but I can moonflip. That's not a moonflip. That was an elbow drop. Why did it elbow drop and not moonflip? Give it a ladder. Mysterio is so exciting to watch in action. He's so fast, so agile, so talented. <laughs> so fast and so agile while he's just laying there, getting battered. You gotta be kidding me, Cole. I mean, yeah, Ray Mysterio is extremely fun to watch and all, but how is a guy his size gonna win a WWE title? Get real. Come on, Taz. You have all <laughs> this entire storyline. You're a former ECW champion, aren't you? you? Look out! The referee's been knocked out. And this is where things start getting a little interrupted. <laughs> just battering the hell out of him. Really, Ray? Bye. No, All right, we done here. <laughs> but when is Matt Hardy just gonna pack it in and call it a day? I don't think you're ever going to. His opponent better do something real quick, or else he's gonna win this thing right here. Oh my God! They're tearing each other apart up there. I love hearing the crowd come alive. Even when Ow. Exactly Ow. Ow. Neither one of these superstars wants to be the one to fall off the Okay, what the hell? This is I forgot you don't have ladder finishes yet. Ray's about to win this. Ray's about to win this. Oh my god, Matt, get up! <laughs> oh, we... You know what? Yes, I threw that match entirely for Ray. I threw that match entirely to let him win. <laughs> Why is that match so short? That was shorter than the Buried Alive match. I get it in like SmackDown 2 where like the ladder matches could end like that, but my god. That was quick. They'll say I threw it for him to get him in the world title picture. Yeah, Here's that works. Your winner, Rey Mysterio. Nothing to say about that? Nothing? I'm being booked like Ray as world champion. I'm losing more on TV. Hey, you know, it, it was fine. It's fine. It was entirely intentional that I lost to Ray there. Not at all the fact that he managed to get that entire bar down and all I had to do was just not get up for a second. Awkward as hell. Oh, God. Why have we got two things? Teddy Long. Alright, you're scheduled to take on Undertaker tonight, champ. I'll be watching closely to see if this is a big money match that we need for the Royal Rumble. I'm not putting anything less than our best on display in the crossband pay per You feel me? Well, Ray just beat me, and I just beat Taker really, really easily. The man behind the mask. Alright, here we go. Mysterio raids play with the big boys. Uh, please don't word it that way. There's one SmackDown superstar who has continually found himself in the main event matches revolving around the World Heavyweight title, but he hasn't been given an opportunity to compete for the prestigious prize. His name is Rey Mysterio. And he has some words for SmackDown General Manager uh, Theodore Long. In the last month and a half, I've faced the World Heavyweight Champion twice in one-on-one. -on -one. I teamed up with him. 
against Skrrrrrrr and The Undertaker, both World Heavyweight Champion contenders. I was in the ring with all four of them in a four-man battle royal, but Teddy Long won't give me the title match because I'm a cruiserweight. That's discrimination, plain and simple. Long, um, lo uh, long, br what? Bristles? Okay, bristles at Mysterio's criticism. Discrimination is a word I take very seriously. It's true. Look at his gimmick in the early noughties. Uh, and I don't appreciate Rey Mysterio throwing it around like that. It, the simple fact of the matter is, SmackDown rules prevent superstars from the Cruiserweight division from competing for the World Heavyweight title. Which is not true, it's a lot of bollocks. Uh, I've got all the respect in the world for Rey Mysterio. And if he'd been born a foot taller and weighed a hundred pounds more, I'd love to give him a title. I'd love to, uh, love to have him in the title picture. But that's not the case. Mysterio requested a match against her, <laughs> rumored to be one of Long's top choices to face Matt Hardy again for the World Heavyweight title at the Royal Rumble. Of Mysterio's desire to compete for the SmackDown's top prize, Benoit had this to say: Rey Mysterio should be glad Teddy Long isn't letting him go for the World Heavyweight title. That's a good way for a guy like him to get hurt. Well then. I have no other words, so I think we're going to leave that one there. So thank you everybody so much for joining me in this one. It's been a genuine pleasure as per usual. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill, all the fun stuff. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.